In the previous three episodes on Project Wolbachia Singapore, you heard about NEA's efforts in gearing up towards a small-scale field study. With the comprehensive laboratory studies and extensive stakeholder and community engagement conducted to date, the project has now reached a significant milestone as we bring these studies into the field. Well, we support it entirely. Um, we're happy with the idea, we're happy with the preparation. And that's why this morning is such an exciting event, because this could be the beginning of a reduction in the numbers of dengue that we have to cope with each year. We have many traps uh, dispersed in this area to study the dispersal of the mosquitoes. This includes fan traps, which has been hosted by many uh, kind volunteers. Uh, I'm great to be part of this project. The WHO, other governments and people were fighting so hard to reverse the trend of dengue, but it's been so difficult. And I hope that this project will give us a new tool, and I'm sure this case will be a reference point in Southeast Asia and Asia, not only because of technology-wise, but then how the government reaches out to uh, community and involve academics and community and governmental people. While data is being collected from the field studies, NEA continues to engage stakeholders and the surrounding community at the study sites to generate ongoing awareness and understanding of Wolbachia AD's technology and address any feedback and concerns.